Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. I'm going to be doing a love reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I'm going to tap into the energies of love that surround you and see what messages your guides and angels have for you. So if you are a cross watcher here for Taurus, please remember that you can flip switch the energies and roles. If it does not resonate, don't force it, right? If it doesn't resonate, check out other placements, Aries, uh, Aries, Taurus. And if you're interested in a personal reading, I do have some available. You can connect through the email provided in the description box for this video or on the uh, the email provided on my channel, all right? Show me the energy of love that surrounds Taurus at this time and what does Taurus need to know? So I did just say Aries. I just uploaded an Aries video. There might be some messages for you there. Please consider checking it out. You may be on the Aries Taurus cusp. Um, I'm going to pull some Oracle and then I'm going to clarify with Tarot. All right. So show me the energy of love that surrounds Taurus at this time. And what does Taurus need to know? What is the message for Taurus? So celebrating, having fun is what it says. Bottom of the deck, emotions. So you may be trying to avoid some feelings <laughs> through partying is kind of what I'm getting here. There's a little bit of chaotic energy in regards to your feelings at this time. Feeling unbalanced in regards to your feelings and emotions. So possibly you are trying to uh, not let that impact you, affect you too much in the holiday season. Possibly you are, you know, engaging in um, partying, having fun, fun with friends. Uh, but there is an energy of something risky. So possibly you, you can't avoid your feelings forever is the message that I'm getting here, Taurus. Show me the energy of love. That surrounds Taurus at this time. And what does Taurus need to know in regards to this energy of love? Please show me the energy of love that surrounds Taurus. And what does Taurus need to know in regards to this love? What is the message for Taurus? Energy of love. So kisses in the reverse. It says unconditionally loving, giving, receiving affection, falling in love in the reverse. So avoiding feelings at this time. I don't feel your focus is on the connection. You're you're just wanting to have fun, be in the moment, enjoy the season is what I'm getting. You're avoiding uh, feelings and emotions at this time. But there is someone around you that likes you. There is romance blooming. But I feel like you're not in a place of putting too much energy or emphasis on that at this time. I don't feel that is your focus. Taurus. So I am going to clarify this a little bit further. So I call upon Taurus spirit guides and angels protect the energy of the collective. I call upon my angels and guides also to protect my energy as I channel this message for the Taurus collective. Please clarify the energy of love that surrounds Taurus. Show me the person that's coming towards Taurus in love and how they feel about Taurus. So the first spread will be the energy of the person that's connecting to you, how they feel about you at this time. Show me how the person that's connecting to Taurus feels about Taurus. How does this person feel about Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? Thank you, Spirit. So we've got Nine of Pentacles, the Page of Swords in the reverse. So... Someone is not taking action, but they are watching with that Page of Swords energy. And what are they watching? They are watching you expand. <laughs> they are watching you in a glow up, Taurus, is what I feel. You are currently not focused on love at this time. You are focused on having fun, being present in the moment. I feel you're very focused on finances, right? And, and taking energy and putting it inward. So you're very much about yourself at this time. And that's being validated. You're very attractive at this time. You're possibly eating better. You know, you're healthy in your exchange of energy. You are very much adored. I'm just drawn to the way this bird is so comfortable in this woman's presence, right? People are attracted to you at this time. And there's an energy of someone watching that is what I feel with that page of swords in the reverse. There's someone watching you, Taurus, that has a lot of love for you. King of Cups on the feminine side with Pisces energy. So you may have a Pisces that's attracted to you, but there's definitely someone watching you that wants to do uh, approach you, wants to make some type of a connection with you, but they see that you're not interested at this time. Your energy is an inward not outward. Your heart's not exactly open to love at this time is what I'm feeling. Give me more energy on the nine of pentacles. 
for how this person feels about Taurus. So Nine of Pentacles is Virgo energy. Clarify this Nine of Pentacles for how this person feels about Taurus. The Hangman. So this person doesn't feel they have the ability to approach you at this time. This person is not taking action towards you at this time. That's double validation because Page of Swords is a lack of movement, but someone's definitely watching. They could be watching you through social media, through friends, um, but this person is paying attention, but they're not taking action at this time, but they are watching you and where you are and taking investment of your energy. They are conscious of where you're putting your energy at this time possibly they feel you're closing out a cycle that was not very productive that kind of hurt you could have been in regards to love you are releasing some type of an abandonment is what i feel yeah this person feels you're closing a difficult cycle and they're watching you in this energy but they're not taking any action at this time the hangman is also pisces energy give me another card on the nine of pentacles and the hangman for how this person feels about Taurus. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, you're not invested in love at this time. Your energy is being put inward, right? There's something that you're healing, something you're closing cycle with, something that has kept you stuck in regards to love is how they are viewing you at this time. Queen of Swords in the reverse. You are closing cycle with something that was very deceptive. You are de they see that you are closing cycle with something that really hurt you. They recognize that you were devastated. Basically, there was a lot of betrayal that you're healing from at this time. And they know that you're rebuilding. So this is someone that knows your situation is what I feel. But it's someone that's not taking action at this time. All right, so that Knight of Cups energy is Scorpio energy. So a lot of water here. So this person isn't taking a lot of action, but there is a lot of feelings here. This person is getting feelings for you, but they don't feel that you're open to them at this time is what I feel, Taurus. Give me clarification on that Page of Swords for how this person feels about Taurus. You are probably focused more on uh, having fun, being in the moment. You're not considering this person right now. You're not considering anyone in regards to love because you're healing four of swords energy so this is beautiful honestly it's validating where you've been this person sees where you've been this person knows this person knows you okay whomever is connecting to you in love who's watching you they're watching you heal they're watching you invest in yourself so it's a beautiful energy it's validating right this person is validating the struggles you've been but they're also validating where you are currently and they recognize that now is not the time to be offering you love because you're healing from something that was very difficult Taurus. you're healing from something that held you back is what i feel but there is love here and there's a potential for connection possibly in the new year is what i feel so this the season we're in i mean we're in the christmas season right there's a lot of um you know, there's a lot of things happening behind the scenes. So this person is standing back. This person is holding back at this time, possibly waiting for the new season to offer love because they do see you as someone that's healing some type of a deceptive cycle is what I feel. But there is somebody that's watching you. Queen of Wands in the reverse, Eight of Swords, Four of Cups. You're healing from something where you were meant to feel like an option. I do feel that you were in competition in regards to love in a previous cycle that you're healing from and this person's aware of that is the energy that I'm getting. So just know that there is someone that is watching you that are um, respecting the place that you're in at this time and they're not taking any action, but they do see it, that you're healing something in regards to your heart space. But they're hopeful that you're going to move forward with your heart open towards them is what I feel. So that I do feel this is someone that you know. So I'm going to um, see what the outcome will be of this connection. I'm going to pull your energy first. So guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please show me the energy that surrounds Taurus in regards to love. It doesn't have to be in regards to this person that's watching you either. Just show me the energy of love from the perspective of Taurus. Show me the energy of love that surrounds Taurus. How does Taurus feel about love at this time? Show me their energy in regards to love at this time. The chariot. Now that kind of flipped around upside down, back and forth. You know, I feel that there is movement, right? Within this season, 
you're not overly focused on anything other than being present in the moment, but there is movement. It's been slow though, right? Healing takes a long time is what I feel with that chariot energy, chariots cancer, but there is movement, but you're in no rush is what I feel. The emperor in the reverse, there's someone that was very disrespectful within your energy, someone that was a little bit out of control, but you are releasing them. There is someone that was non-committal that was attached to you that did not honor the connection. And that is something that you're healing. But there's movement away from that is what I feel. Give me more energy for how Taurus feels in regards to love at this time. Give me more energy on that chariot and the energy of love that surrounds them at this time. King of Wands in the reverse. You could have been dealing with an Aries, right? I told you to check out Aries reading. There may be messages for you there, but you were dealing with someone that was very egotistical, Taurus. Right? You're not focused on love at this time because you're healing from something that was very, um, where you were connected to someone that was not on the same morals and values as you. You're healing from something that was deceptive. All right, so somebody was deceiving you in regards to love. Somebody wore a mask. Someone operated under an illusion. But there is movement. But you're not interested in dealing with anyone that comes from this energy anymore is what I feel. You're on a different path. But it's been hard for you to move away from this energy. Give me more energy on that chariot, please. For the love that surrounds Taurus. How, so the tower in the reverse. So that's... That's validation from, from the universe that all of this is happening for the highest good. The tower in the reverse is indicating that things are being made right. And that takes time. Divine timing, the chariot. We can't rush healing. We can't rush um, the divine's plan because this factors in more than just you. There is someone attached to you that's very egotistical. But I do feel, Taurus, that you are manifesting something that's very... Um, tangible there's happiness coming towards you is what i feel so things are being made right in regards to the past you are being very focused at this time on self is what i feel why is the king of wands here for the love that surrounds taurus give me more energy on that king of wands please why is the king of wands here in the reverse for the energies of love five of swords again in the reverse so five of swords that represents aquarius energy right? There's karmic justice. There's consequences to the choices that are being made, right? There's validation that you're being present in the mo moment, healing from a cycle where there was deception. You were dealing with someone that was very egotistically driven, right? You were connected to someone that was very avoidant of their feelings and emotions that deceived you in some way is what I feel. So there's karma playing out behind the scenes in regards to this, but that is the... Like there's someone watching you. There's someone watching you healing. There's someone that has love for you. There's someone that wants to offer love towards you. But the energy that surrounds you right now is you're just very focused on yourself at this time being present. You are in alignment with God's plan, with the universe's plan for you, right? With that chariot energy, because things are happening to make, to rectify what, what, what went down in the past, the consequences of the choices that are being made. So I just feel that's the energy that you are in at this time, but there is a release of something that's deceptive here. All right. So I'm going to pull future energy for you now, Taurus, to see what message your guides and angels have for you. Um, there is someone watching you that's connecting to you in love. I'm not sure that you're aware of it. I do feel, you know, this person, I feel that you're very focused on just being present in the moment and healing something that was very deceptive in your past is what I got here. So show me future energy messages for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know in regards to the future? What future messages in regards to love do you have for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know for the future? So there is movement, Knight of Swords. I feel in the new season, you are going to, someone is going to approach you and let you know that they have feelings towards you with that Knight of Swords energy because that's movement. Definitely, that's Aquarius energy. There's a closing of a, of a deceptive cycle. Once you've healed from that, that is going to allow momentum towards something that's going to be tangible. So I do feel there's action here. What do we got here? Five of Wands in the reverse. No longer putting yourself in competition. There is no competition, right? You are in alignment. You're trusting. There's no resistance to this path that's being provided to you. I feel that you are in the flow of what's meant for you. 
trusting what the divine has for you with that knight of swords, five of wands, and then the world in the reverse. You are open to closing of this cycle. You are ready for this cycle to be closed. There's an energy of you walking away. So I feel you're being validated in the present energy and trusting you are not fighting the divine and closing of this cycle. You are trusting that you are being guided out of a very difficult cycle where you were put in competition is what I feel with that five of wands energy, right? But there is a closing that needs to occur. And I do feel there's movement towards that is what I feel. So continue to walk away from anything that doesn't serve you emotionally is what I feel with that eight of cups. That's Pisces energy. There's an energy of attachment here. There's devil energy and that could be fear, fear of walking away right? Or someone is fearful that you are walking away, but I do feel that it's necessary for you to do so, right? To release yourself from some type of burden here is what I feel. I'm going to clarify this outcome just a little bit further. Give me energy on the Knight of Swords for the outcome for Taurus in regards to future love. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Ten of Cups. There's movement towards happiness, Pisces energy. There's King of Swords here. There's communication. It's confidence. It's mental stability. Right? I think you see something clearly. I feel in the new season there's a movement. There's a shift in your energy towards happily ever after. And you're just, you're not alone in that. You're bringing other people towards this energy of happiness in the future is what I feel. Why is the Five of Wands here for the future energy coming towards Taurus? Why is the Five of Wands here? So five of wands is Leo energy. Why five of wands strength? So Leo again, it's showing that it's been difficult. You have been put in competition, but there's no competition any longer. There's a movement towards happily ever after. So continue to have your boundaries. There's a choice between two that was made with this lovers in the reverse. There was someone that you were connected to and love that chose outside of you. But ultimately, that was meant for your greatest good because there's happily ever after. There was no happily ever after with this person who chose someone else is what I feel. So continue to have your boundaries with this person in the closing of cycle is what I feel. That's the message from your guides and angels, Taurus. It's very important that you do not um, fight with this person. It's very important that you do not give this person your energy is what I feel because you are trying to close out a cycle with someone that made a choice between two and chose outside the relationship. But trust that you there is happiness on the other side of that in the new season is what I feel. Give me clarification on the world in the reverse for the outcome and advice for Taurus in regards to this future energy. The devil in the reverse. Yeah, it's closing cycle with something that's toxic. Do not be afraid. This is happening for your greatest good. It's moving you towards this happily ever after. Continue to have your boundaries against this person that likes to play games. That puts you in competition, Taurus, is what I feel. Closing of cycle with someone that's broken, toxic. So this very much aligns with the Aries reading that I just did. There's an attachment of someone that is dark. There's someone that made a choice between two. But in choosing the other person, it released you. And now you're moving towards this happily ever after is what I feel. Guides and angels close out this reading for Taurus. So if you like the way I read, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification. Let me know if this resonates. If you're interested in personal, please hit me up. Appreciate you so very much, Taurus. Show me the closing message for Taurus in regards to this energy. Final message for the Taurus Collective. So continue to be bold, be brave is the message that I'm getting. There's movement towards happily ever after. Enjoy the season is a message that I'm getting. Don't be super focused on love. It's all about enjoyment of self at this time. You've been through a lot, Taurus, is what I feel. Balance spirituality and practicality, but in the reverse. Balance spirituality and practicality. I want to read what that means to you. That's not a card that's resonating with me right now. But it's Pisces energy. So there is a lot of Pisces around you. There's a lot of water around you at this time. All right. So let's just see what that says from your guides and your angels. I just needed my glasses. So it says here, have you been so head in the clouds, Taurus, that you've lost touch with reality? If so, take this card as a sign that you need to pay attention and make a concerted effort to move towards your goals. The more practical steps that you can take, the better. It's time to find inner balance between your responsibilities and your dreams. Your angels and guides are telling you to meditate on a question and the solutions to your issues may now come through very clearly. 
if you're in a tricky situation because you've been acting the martyr, this card will be a message from the cosmos to drop the act for everyone's sake. So attune with the moon. It says meditate every day and see what comes to you. Answers will come is what it says here. It says Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. So the full moon in Pisces symbolically marks an ending. When the moon is full in Pisces or whenever you pull this card, it's time to dive deep into your emotions, Taurus. Practicality is at odds with the num numerous Piscean energies that have no borders, so feel your way now. Psychic ability is heightened when the full moon is in Pisces and soulmates now connect. It is also a time to send out your dreams to the universe, releasing your fears. So I do feel in the new season, someone is going to be reaching out and telling you how they have, how they feel towards you. But enjoy your season is what I feel. You are releasing something that was very toxic and very difficult. And there's 10 of cups on the other side of this is what I feel for you, Taurus. Take care.